So after you have set up your gradebook and got everything ready, the next step is when the students start doing work in the My Labs platform, you want to sync the grades, and it's a very easy process. Now only the raw grades will be pushed to the My Labs to My Courses. Again, you want to make sure that your gradebook is set up before you do this process. You want to click on the Course Content tab, and you're going to look for um, an item that's called Pearson Diagnostics and Grade Sync. It's most likely found within a module called Instructor Tools. You're going to click on the item Pearson Diagnostic and Grade Sync. You're going to click on Access Pearson Diagnostics and Grade Sync. And you're going to go ahead and click Grade Sync. What this is going to do is show you all the grade items that are within the My Labs platform. Now the easiest thing to do, since you've had your gradebook already set up, is to check box the top checkbox to make sure everything's checked. Now if there are some items that you're not going to grade from the My Labs platform, you certainly want to uncheck those so the grades don't get synced into the gradebook. In, my, in our case, I'm just going to leave them all that checked. Then you simply click Sync Grades. Now you can do this as many times as you want. You can do this four times a day, you can do this once a day, and what's really nice about this whole process is if you have students that have done work ahead, those grades will move, be moved into the My uh, Courses gradebook. Then go ahead and close that, and then what you want to do to just check things is to go ahead and go into the Grades tab, and go ahead to Enter Grades, and you'll see that these grades have now been synced. These are only have these two students who have done the work, they've only done those two pieces of work. And that's it. Again, do it as many times as you want.